Hey guys! So I wanted to do for you guys, um, this video is going to be about like summer glowy skin and it's going to be kind of like a quick and easy one. Um, the most bare necessities for a summer break, a summer vacation, a day on the boat. I just got back from summer vacation in Jamaica and it really made me kind of reevaluate like the kind of stuff I put on my face when I just want to walk out the door and go lay on the beach. Um, so there's bare bones, um, tinted moisturizers, um, and also anything that I'm using you can substitute if you need more coverage, if you want less coverage, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So if you want to know how I get my summer glowy skin, stick around. Okay, so the first thing I always do, um, I've already put moisturizer on my skin. I don't know if I need a, um, let's zoom in a little bit, is that better? Okay, cool. So I don't, I use this moisturizer. I don't know if I'll need it for the rest of the summer, but this is what I've been using anyway. And then moisturizer. Okay, so what I do is I take strobe cream by MAC. I don't like this slide. There we go. Strobe cream by MAC. And I also use the Smashbox Sheer Focus Tinted Moisturizer. And this is in medium, ironically enough. It's just it just seems to be working pretty well for my skin. So I'll take some of this and I'll put a little bit on my hand. Then I'll take some of the strobe cream and I'm just going to dot this on my face where I'd like the luminosity. So just a little bit here, a little bit there, right there, right there. Just like that. And then I'll take the tinted moisturizer. I think I got too much. I don't even think I need that much, but a dot there, a dot there, around the mouth, around the nose. And then just rub it in. And I just feel like all day long this is going to make my skin glowy, but kind of mute out the redness that I get uh, around my nose. We all get it around our eyes. Um, I have some blemish scarring just from like wearing sunscreen every day on my vacation. I broke out horribly on the trip home. Like my whole face just erupted on me. It was really bad. Like up here on my forehead around my mouth so okay so it looks really kind of dewy and shiny right now which is I like it but I'll powder it down in a second so get that on good good nice all right next step is um, concealer so what I like to use especially for the summer and actually I've been using it a lot well actually next thing I do is put lip balm on the ESOS, what is this one? Melon. Mmm, tastes good too. All over my lips. Done. Now, my concealer choices usually consist of the Studio Finish by MAC, that one. But lately, I've been loving the MAC Pro Longwear. This is a long wearing concealer. I wear this pretty much every day on my vacation. It stays put, it stayed better than my waterproof mascara, which ran all over my face. In some pictures I look like a mongoose. Um, but other than, ooh, Real Housewives. Um, but this stuff really works. So it's really hard to get out of the pump though and a little goes a very, very, very long way. So I just take a small, small, small pump. Like, mm, come on, come on, come on. Please. Yeah, that's nice. Like that. That's all you really need. And get under this eye. Under this eye. That might even I just blend it in. And for this, I don't even need to use a powder underneath my eyes either. That's what I like. For the summer, I want to use as little as possible but get the same effect. And this just really, even though it's so thin, it stays if I sweat. Um, you ever get those like sunglass marks on your face? The ki I call them the kidneys. Um, they sit like right here. I don't get those because it's like a long wearing concealer. It really does work. And I'll hit, like, I have, I think, a dark semicircle under my eye. So I'll hit that spot more in a minute. But first I just apply it. Just like that. And mascara. I like two right now. Um, I like Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. This is, like, my third tube. I've just always really enjoyed it. So I'll throw that on for the sake of consistency today. I just know the other eye. 
a Chanel saleswoman taught me that trick to go back and forth at the tips of the lashes and then go up. So I've been doing it ever since. That lip balm feels really nice. Okay. And you know what's funny is I really like strobe cream. I never thought that I would like it. I thought it was too much, but it's turning out to be really good stuff. A little bit with your like foundation or um, it's into moisturizer just on its own. It just brings new life to your face. It's really nice. And I do a couple of coats of mascara. I'm kind of a mascara whore, so I do a bunch of coats. Okay, so I got that on. Now I'll go back in. I'm debating on whether I should do eyeliner. I usually, I guess I will for you guys today. So eyeliner, I always stick with the Styly Style Line and Seal in Black Brown, number 24. I don't use black, I don't use brown, I use black brown. I love this one. You've seen it in all my videos pretty much. So, um, it stays put pretty well. Even the next day it's kind of hard to get off, but it, it doesn't run on me. If I laugh a lot it'll like connect in the, collect in the corner of my eye, but other than that, I'm good. So I got that, but then I always take a Q-tip, hate me if you want to, sorry, and I clean up the bottom area. Just like that, and then I go back in. See now, when I do very, very minimal makeup, I want my eyes to say a lot because the rest of my face isn't going to do it. I'm not going to wear a lot of eyeshadow, um, not heavy blush, so I like a lot of lashes. So after I put on the smoky lash, I take my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and I hit my eyelashes one more time. And this really does make the biggest difference. It just adds fullness. It's a very volumizing black, black, ooh. See that, like... It's a very black mascara, which I like. A little wet, but it'll make a mess on your eyelids if you're not careful. And my, ash, my eyelashes are really curly, so it'll hit the back of my eyelashes, but I mean my eyelid, but it's fine. Take a Q-tip, you're good. See? Crazy, right? Okay, so I got that done. Now I take what's left of the concealer on my hand, and for me, my problem area is right there and right there. So I'll get in there one more time. And my battery is going to die. Okay, sorry. So the battery died. I had to change the battery. But basically, I just finished off the corner area right here with um, the rest of the concealer. And I don't have to finish with powder with this concealer. It's a stay put long wear concealer. So once it's on, it's on, okay? So I think I'm further back, but that's okay. Um, so we got that on. I just kind of blend it out. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Let's zoom in. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so we got that on. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer and just like on the contours of my cheekbones, uh, it just kind of helps to kind of, if you're not going to, if you're going to go minimal, you kind of want to bring out your best features. So I like to use a little bit of the e.l.f. Bronzing Duo bronzer side just right here um, before I do anything else. So I take this big fluffy brush, which is by, I don't even know, Essence of Beauty. Take that and I dab it in blow on it. Everyone's going to say don't blow on your brushes, but I do. It's a habit. Sorry. 
and get right there in the hollow of my cheekbone. I feel like this is And again on the other side. Sorry. Okay, so just keep doing the bronzer up and around. And if your bronzer is matte, what you can do is use it as like a setting powder too if you don't like the shine that um, some bronzers have. Like this one does have some shimmer to it. I don't really mind it. I like it actually. So, okay. Got that done. Moving along. Now, I'm going to use Max Cream Color Base in Hush. This is my one of my favorite highlighters for cream. I have a couple of other ones, but this one, it's since it's in a pot form like that, it's easier to work with, I feel. And it's just going to go right here on the cheekbone. Now, you can see I've got some shine already from the strobe cream. If you want to stop there, that's perfectly acceptable. But I like to amp it up a little bit more, so I put a little bit on my finger. And I just dab and see how it picks it up right there and right under my eyebrow arch just like that and on the other side a little bit more dab blend up if you're fair skinned you can use the pearl the pearl is too luminescent on me it's it's too it's white based versus you see that or yellow based versus it's almost like moonbeam and what's the other one moonbeam and forgot the other one from benefit but you can see hush is more of a peachy pink and this is pearl but if you can get away with this um, I would you could use it in the same way so just finish that right on the cheekbone and right under the eyebrow and gives a nice high shine finish Doo -doo -doo. just like that and stick with, with cream products for the summer. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Poot Poot <laughs> Poot Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks, Bobbi Brown. And this is in Cabo Coral, so it's a beautiful. This can go on lips or cheeks. I'm gonna put on my, my cheeks today. So take a little bit right on the finger and smile. I'm gonna go kind of heavy for you guys so you can see at home and then just kind of rub it in. I don't want to look powdery if I'm ever out because you're going to sweat and things are going to come off and the more powder products you put on I don't know, it just looks cakey or it doesn't look natural. You're gonna sweat and sometimes being sweaty or glistening is kind of a pretty thing, you know? Like it gives some life to your skin, it makes your cheeks flushed. Um, it's just, it's kind of a glisten effect and I don't, I don't really mind that. So I wanna kind of stick with that theme for the summer. And when I was in Jamaica, I didn't wear, I brought so much makeup and brought it on my carry-on and I, I used like four products the entire week, it was amazing. So once I've got that on, now, if you want to use some powder, um, for the sake of this, I will do um, a little bit of MSF Natural on my forehead just to take away some shine. So I'll dab that on my chin and my nose and my forehead, just kind of buff it. And that way it'll take, you know, kind of concentrate on these areas that we worked on getting the shine, you know? So I got that. And now, I got my lips on. One more element. Oh, I'll do some eyebrows for you. Uh, this is the Lorac. Take a brow. Love this. And I'm growing out my eyebrows, so I'm kind of like a wildebeest right now. But I just, I just want them fuller for the fall, you know. So, just okay. So you see, eyebrows really do help a lot. Now, got that done. Um, now, if you want to do set maybe your blush with some powder, let's do that. Why not? You know. Um, let's use this new blush I just got, Spring Sheen by MAC, and it kind of goes along with the the peachy, the peachy look. So if you wanted to, if you had a cream, uh, cream blush on and you want to set it, make sure it really sticks for a minute at least, um, dip a complimenting blush, a brush and a blush, 
knock off the excess, and then just kind of hit the apples of your cheeks. And that'll help it stay on, and even when it, the powder comes off, you've still got that underlying blush, you know? So I got that. Done and done. On. Um, I'm trying to think, okay, I got a really cool new product. I don't know if I need it, but I'm going to use it today anyway. Um, it's the MAC Magically, Li Magically Cool Liquid Powder in Honey Rose. This stuff is legit. It comes off, it's like 90% water. So it's, it's a highlighter and it's really sparkly, but when it comes out it's kind of cold, and but it dries on your skin. It's really weird actually. Like explaining it, I feel really weird, but it's cool. Um, let's use, let's use a SS188. I don't know what it's called anymore, but um, Duo Fiber picks up the least amount of product and this is in one of those sifters, so you'll need very, very little. But I'm just gonna take what I see sitting around in the sifter, knock off the excess and just kind of hit like right here. And let's get some more. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then last for lips, um, you can use a lip liner if you wanted to, um, something nude, something natural. What's this one? Cremola for my lips is really nice. I think I have Style. Yeah, this one is, no, Strip Down. So I'll just line my lips with some Strip Down. and then kind of blend it. And then my last step is to just take a nice nude pinky peach lip gloss and I'm gonna use Big Baby by MAC, which is my favorite, favorite lip gloss of all time. Finish this off. I use a lot of MAC today. And I think we are all done. And that is your fix your hair as usual. <laughs> fix your hair, guys. Let's go out. All right, cool. So this is my summer beachy vacation type makeup. It's quick, it's easy, it's melt proof. Some some products are melt proof. Other ones are it's fine if it comes off. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, leave them down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.